Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's steep. <laughs> so cool. Ed, I'm guessing waterfall coming down here and a reservoir <laughs> down by that patio. Yeah, I think you got it pretty nailed. Down. What is the slope that we're dealing with? This looks like 10, 12 it's feet. 10 feet. Yeah, the waterfall is going to probably be 8 to 10, depending upon where we want to position it. But I was thinking this kind of like little flat area here is an easy spot right back in this section for the upper one, lower one, kind of down there. Nice. We're coming together in a common pool. You can see again, here's some of the old paint lines. I was thinking this is the back edge of the pool. Waterfalls coming in from two different sides on everything, we're dumping over into that lower reservoir. Awesome. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Hey everybody, it's Brian again from Team Aquascape. It is Monday following an, an exciting Super Bowl. I would have loved, loved to see Burroughs take home a ring his second year in the league and everything, but it was pretty awesome to see Stafford move out to LA, get his very well-deserved ring. And more importantly, it was just an exciting game watching those two battle with each other, and it made it fun for the rest of us. I was thinking to myself how much Stafford and I have in common, you know, him moving out to LA, and I'm about to go to LA. <laughs> I am heading out to meet Ed, the pond professor, a bunch of past artists of the year to build a epic, should I say epic? How about kick butt waterfall for the Laura Cleary. I am super, super excited to meet her. I've heard so much about her. I've watched her channel. If not, you guys know what to do. Check it out. Laura Cleary, super funny, motivational person. And like I said, just can't, just excited. What do I got going on here? Is that like a, my horn again? Anyways, heading out there, called the Uber. It's gonna be here in less than three minutes. Off to O'Hare International Airport, a little bit of a flight, and then I land in LA, meeting up with some other Aquascape personnel, the pond guy, Ed the Pond Professor, Colleen, our president, and many, many more. And we are gonna build a awesome, awesome water feature. I think I'm also genuinely excited to get rid of this white stuff. Yeah, they call it snow and ice. Get rid of some of that stuff and head off to much, much warmer temperatures. Hey, I'll reach back out to you guys when I land, or maybe in the airport, I don't know. I'll probably when I land. We'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Wait a minute. We made it, we're here in LA. Next stop is Greg Whitstock, the pond guy. I'm guessing he had a easy flight because he was coming right from Utah. We were coming from Chicago. Nonetheless, it is not 15 degrees anymore. You could tell. <laughs> we're not at home anymore. <laughs> Let's go get him. Let's go get him. He's happy because I'm taking a mission. Yes! <laughs> All right, we made it. <laughs> We're here at the job site. We made it. You can see a lot of our materials are already here. One of the most important things when building a project is to make sure you have all the material here. So it's awesome to see that we've got a lot of our rock already here. We've got guys coming in. You can see Chad from Pacific Outdoor Living over there coming in. He's got his crew, his team. Looks like they've already ripped down a fence, which I'm guessing is our access. And I think what I'm most excited about with this build Me? is not... <laughs> We've got Tim. Hey, while you guys are here, let me introduce you really quick. Hey. For those of you who don't know, it's me. you got Ding Dong. <laughs> <laughs> and Tweedle the, D. And Tweedle, Tweedle <laughs> D. The Tim Wood, past artist of the year. Jack, past artist of the year. The three of us have actually never worked on a job together. This is our first time. All three? Yeah, yeah I'm not really yeah. sure how Tim got here. To be yeah. honest. <laughs> I, just, I snuck in your luggage. <laughs> well, let's go see what Ed's got planned for us. He's going to give us kind of a layout of the job. And oh my gosh. Yeah, that's steep. <laughs> So cool. Ed, I'm guessing 
waterfall coming down here and a <laughs> reservoir down by that patio. Uh, I think you got it. What down. is the slope that we're dealing with? This looks like 10, 12 it's about feet. 10 feet. Yeah, the waterfall is going to probably be 8 to 10, depending upon where we want to position it. But I was thinking this kind of like little flat area here is an easy spot. Right back in this section for the upper one, lower one, kind of down there. Nice. Coming together in a common pool. You can see again, here's some of the old paint lines. I was thinking this is the back edge of the pool. Waterfalls coming in from two different sides on everything, we're dumping over into that lower reservoir. Awesome. Let me get down here. I'll give you guys a different perspective of what this looks like. So what Ed was saying, oh yeah, that's steep. Like, I'm right here-ish, height-wise, and I'm five, and so Ed's up there, so we're gonna, yeah, eight feet or so. So a waterfall starting from this area, coming into a pool here, and then the whole thing will come together and drop into a thousand gallon reservoir, I thought he said. And But uh, we'll let him explain a little bit more, and there's the view from the house, so gonna be incredible. Again, this is Laura Cleary, can't wait to meet her, can't wait to meet her husband, see what they're all about. Hey, John! What's up? I introduced What's the other two artists oh of the year. Here. Holy cow. It's John good. G. John good, to G. Meet you, old man. Yeah. good to see you. Good to see you. World. World. Modern design. There you go. Escaping. Yes. Hey. John, this is the first time, not that I've worked with you, but the first time I worked with you, Jack, and Tim together. I actually think gonna be pretty easy and fun. The challenge is the slope, it, but when we've got this much talent together, we're right. gonna move through this pretty quick. Plus, I'm here too. So you right, there you got go. me to do all the hard work. <laughs> no, I'll just carry your rocks for you. Awesome. It's gonna be great, man. I'm looking forward to it, and uh, it's just the whole trip for me is truly just to come hang out with these guys. Yeah, right? It's really what it's all about. I get to meet the players, obviously, doing something, that things that matter with people that matter is my thing, but I truly don't know these guys. I don't know their stuff, so I get to learn about them. I get to hang out with you guys. All right. What I'm all about, man. It's going to be a good time. Awesome. Well, let's get started. We've got our production team up there talking about logistics, but this is our access. This is going to be the most difficult part because everything has to come in from there, which means it's going to be one rock at a time. We've obviously got to come down the hillside rip out this wall this has got to go just in order for us to start digging this thousand gallon reservoir we have to figure out where to put all that soil maybe it's not that easy <laughs> your, your hair looks good how's mine look it's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good <laughs> this is why I love working with these guys it's like working with your brothers that you haven't seen in so many years yeah. Tim the only time not the last time but I think the only time we've actually worked together hand-to-hand -hand was the sandbox studio I believe that's correct right yep. mm -hmm. um, a year ago this a week. year ago this week that's yep. right it came up in your memories yep. right he did an awesome design there in the sandbox it was probably one of my favorites because it was most realistic like this is actually something somebody could put in somebody's backyard that's what we're going for right yep, yep. <laughs> a lot like this one absolutely no <laughs> <laughs> I know where you're from you don't get slopes like this we don't get slopes like this what are you seeing as some of the challenges here obviously just uh, uh, safety really is a big one the machines gonna be sitting like this sometimes with look at the size of these boulders I mean that's gonna be we're gonna have to keep our eyes open and keep our wits about us we got an incredible operator Jack is world famous operator look him up Jack the world famous operator <laughs> the other challenge is we've got these egg these dinosaur egg type boulders right yeah not a lot of bike points. a little bit challenging to strap a little yep. harder to build waterfalls out of mm -hmm. we're already looking at them I know you're looking at them the same way I'm looking at them but some of these flat spots yeah. on the rocks saving some of those there's like a really nice split one over there yep. but we're gonna look for those fractured ones where we can get water to actually spill off over them so we've got a steep slope we have safety to worry about we've got a challenging rock to work with on a steep slope you don't sure. get a whole lot of height quick so we're gonna be stacking and doing some of that kind of stuff yeah and then I think the biggest challenge like if I were coding a job like this I think the biggest challenge would be access it's yeah. like one way in one way out which means yep. one rock at a time right you can't even with all of us we can't get like a group of 15 people working. We can't just pick up these rocks and, and yeah. walk them into the excavator. Nope. <laughs> Everything's outside the work site with limited access, so it just increases that time exponentially every single rock. And for some reason, the rain is like following us around wherever we go, but yeah, that's just it. the way it is, so that's <laughs> no big deal. That. <laughs> well, dude, I'm so excited to do another project with you. Me too. Man. And then more importantly, we're going fishing for bass in Mexico. Mexico. And this isn't like just fishing, and we're not going like deep sea fishing or anything else. We're mm. fishing for bass, which is freshwater yeah. fishing in Mexico, one of the top 10 largemouth bass lakes in, in the, the world. world. Lake El Salto, <laughs> I'm super pumped. Both of us grew up fishing when we were kids. I think that's why we love doing this so much. And so we're kind of going back to our roots a little bit. Yeah, we're we'll, going to have to make up some sort of a friendly wager on yeah. this fish. Oh, this yeah. just, just like bow down. Oh, oh just, it's on, <laughs> it's on. <laughs> Amazing. 
it's relevant to the quarterback kids before. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that's funny. Wow. So, you know, these are the artists of the year. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes. Wow. Wow, it's like insane. <laughs> 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 like an eternity ago we were in Chicago that cold weather it's definitely warming up out here we got a lot done we flew from Chicago to California we found our house we found our job site we created access to our job site. we've got all of our stone we've started excavation next video we're gonna show you how we put our reservoir together start setting our first few rocks which is always my favorite part and kind of dictates how the rest of the job is gonna go you guys make sure you subscribe comment like tell all your friends and make sure you tune into episode number two where things really start coming together.